Welcome back to Farming Simulator. And today I'm going to do a run through what I think are some really useful companion mods for Maze Plus. Um, I'll go through a core set of, I think, four that I think really add to how you can play, play with Maze Plus. And then there's a whole bunch of honorable mentions that are kind of useful to have and kind of promoting my mods and some of my friends mods so yeah let's get struck straight in and the first one is the animal food additions mod now that is part really what i consider part of maze plus and um you don't have to have it installed but if you do as delivered what it does is it puts, puts a lot of increases into the amount of food that animals eat and will particularly cows the amount of output they produce so just worth mentioning that as delivered um with maze plus a lot of effort was put into making cows realistic um you may or may not disagree with that um but the other animals not so much so you may have to tailor the other animals and the animal food additions is perfect for that because what that is is a very small mod that includes the animal food additions xml and the animal data override xml and those are the two files which control how animals behave in the game um, and they will overwrite what's in maze plus and in the map so if you set up custom feeding in there or custom animal you know prices or how much they eat and all that kind of thing it will overwrite what's in the mod what's in maze plus and what's in the map and the the reason it was created is so that if for example you were doing a multiplayer or whatever and you wanted to change something in the feeding of the animals you could just upload a small file rather than updating a whole map so really handy little addition um, and the other nice thing is that if you're making changes to the feeding or the animals um for example to support enhanced animal system which i'm going to talk about in a bit um if maze plus updates but the animal food additions is not updated which it generally won't be now because it's just these two xml files so if maze plus updates you don't need to redo the uh the changes to the animal feeding because if you've put them into the animal food additions they're still valid and they'll still work so yep that's the first one let's move on to the next mod Okay, the next mod that we're going to have a look at is Enhanced Animal System, and this one really complements Maze Plus so well. Word of warning, if you are going to use the Enhanced Animal System with Maze Plus, there are some edits you need to make to the animal feeding. I've got a video on it. I will include a link to it here. Um, and all the files exist where you've just got to copy them in. It's pretty easy to make. You can just do it to the Animal Food Editions, and then if Maze Plus updates, you won't need to update it. So that pretty cool what does enhanced animal system do so it adds a whole load of improvements to animals and i'm going to try and run through them quickly this mod deserves its own video so i don't think i've done a particularly deep dive into it but go have a play with it so just to run through some of the features so big one animals no longer have specifically a single offspring there is some randomness it varies by animal type so things like cows you're probably still going to get one calf but there's a chance you'll get none or two um pigs big change you can get between eight and 12 piglets which yeah is a huge change sheep you're probably going to get one or two you might get three you might get none um for example so it adds that in um along with that animal pens can become overcrowded so because you can have so many offspring you can get it the the mod will allow you to have slightly more in that will affect their health but is sometimes useful um, animals can die when they get to a certain age animals can die and also if animals are not being looked after and if they have zero percent health they can die so no more you know buying cows leaving them in the field until they're at the right age to sell and then feeding them they will die um, it adds in male and female animals. And just to give you an example of that, over here in our cow shed, if I can find one, there we go, we have a brown Swiss bull um, who's stuck his head right through the uh, the feeding bars. But yep, so you have bulls, um, heifers, there's 
different science, there's different anim age animals as well. So with cows, you get calves, you know, all the different animals have different offspring. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it. I really can't with this level of mod. The other cool thing that it adds in now is um, breeding is not guaranteed and you can choose to have either an appropriate bull. This is not an appropriate mix. You would need for the Holsteins I've got here to have a Holstein bull or you can have the vet come in to do artificial insemination. I just need to scroll down the page a little bit so that I can check some other things. Um, so yeah, I guess the other things it does is it adds in goats and ducks. And depending on how things are set up, you can also have um, goat milk and that kind of thing. So really cool mod to have a look at. It is the enhanced animal system by Chisel, and it is definitely worth a look. So Chisel is part of the farming agency as well, and we all kind of work together to uh, to get this working well with Maze Plus. As I said, you need to make a little edit to the animal feeding. It's very easy though. So yeah, definitely one to check out if you're playing with Maze Plus. Okay, so the next mod is the Realism Add-on Grazing by Mod Elisha. This is really useful assuming that the map is set up and more and more maps are setting it up because it relies on modders creating foliage areas either in the built-in enclosures or in placeables now some people don't like that but foliage areas are a part of the standard for animal enclosures so it's not something that's asking modders to do more than they should so you know it, it it's how it works Again, I've got a separate video on it. I've got a bunch of videos on how you can set up enclosures for grazing. So just do a search on my channel. You'll see them all. Um, but what it does is it um, on an appropriately set up pen, it will remove some of the grass and put it into the feed trough to simulate the animals grazing. And I believe this map is set up for that. So there we go. You saw the grass was removed and the sheep have food so i really like it and you have to bear in mind that a lot of fs animal enclosures will allow you to put in a lot more animals than a pasture can support so you can't necessarily rely on it to feed all of your animals but yeah really cool really good way of enhancing the realism of how you play assuming you put the right amount of animals in so so I've got a full description of grazing in another video, which I will link in the corner or will have linked in the corner. So the last one of the four kind of recommended mods is the animal food overview. Now, if you're new to Maze Plus, this is really good. So just a case of pressing, as you can see in the menu, right control, right shift F, and this will tell you what you need to do to feed the animals. So each of them for each group it shows you what can go into them and what you know what happens so we've got full cows for their base food grass silage maize silage whole crop silage um the different feed mixes and how much they contribute so tmr will put 40 percent of the volume of tmr that you put in into base food so that's how that works um if we go down to sheep you can see that um those are the different things you can put in. The reason that you see um, grass conditioned and grass fresh there is for indirect grazing and grazing. So the grass fresh is part of indirect grazing. The grass conditioned is how grazing works. So it is intentional. Number of questions we've had where someone goes, my friend is just feeding his animals conditioned grass and it's doing everything. Is that right? Is that not too GT? And it's like, well, it's the only way we can implement grazing to work. So. That's what it is. And then also it will show you your mixtures. So for TMR, because that's what we've got in here, it will show you what the different mixtures are. And these are just the ones that come with Maze Plus. I've got a fresh copy of Maze Plus. We've got big food and we've got grain mix as well. But yeah, really handy little mod. I am really badly prepared because I did not load up the page to remind me who made this mod. So I am filling time whilst I scroll through and there we go it is Fetty42 really helpful mod particularly if you're new to Maze Plus and you haven't studied the uh, PDF in great detail 
So now I'm going to move on to some companion mods that I think support Maze Plus really well. And uh, I might not place them all, but I'm just going to talk about them. So the first one is by me. And it is the um, C that it's originally called the CCM fermenter because that's what it was. But it is now the multi fermenter. And I made a slight typo in naming it when I sent it to Giants. Um, so if we just stick that down, um, it's a production. And what it does is it will let you put in most of the fill types that will give you silage. So if we open up the production menu, again, I have a full video on this, but just quickly we'll open up the production menu. So you can put CCM in, raw, raw CCM or CCM grist, I think it is, and get your fermented CCM out. You can put chaff in and you'll get whole crop silage. You can put conditioned grass in and get grass silage you can put fresh chopped maize in and get maize silage out you can put beet pop in and get beet pop silage brewer's grain in and get brewer's grain silage so it will do all of those for you and it's quite a handy little thing to have on the farm you can also take out the raw inputs as well if you need to so that's that one the other one is another one of mine i'm not sure if we can find a spot to place it let's just see if we sell that whether we can which is the pellet production. Um, so this is one of mine. We're going to do a very bad job of placing it. Or can we? We probably need to buy some more land. Bear with me. I'm uh, I'm kind of winging this video because I am uh, not feeling so great today. I've got a bit of cold. So uh, field sixty two is just here. So. Let's chuck it in here and uh, we can have a very quick look at it. it. It's a mod that I really want to update at some point. So um, if you hadn't realized it's based on the model for the spinnery, because I don't do 3D modeling. Um, and what this will do is, again, it's a production. You can put hay in and you will get hay pellets out for feeding. You can put sugar beet and molasses in and get beet pellets out, or you can put beet pulp in and molasses and get beet pellets out. And those are all things that you can use in your feeding. So, yep, I do want to update this so that it does more things like, you know, producing TMR and all that kind of stuff, but I haven't got around to that yet. That's by me. Um, Another a quick one here is um, by Just Add Adam, the molasses tank. And this is a, a 5,000 litre tank you can put on your farm to store molasses in for your feed mixing. Really helpful little one there. Next, we're going to go back to productions. This is by Ursin Rainer, which is the grist mill. And this is a... A little production that you can put on your farm to make small amounts of um, grain grist or to mill CCM for, you know, either feeding raw or if you're really enthusiastic, you could ferment it. And a really nice little model. You tip stuff in the front and it comes out here or tip stuff in the top. And if we go into the production menu, the production menu hasn't updated, which is kind of weird. There we go. Grist mill. So you put in two wheat, one barley, one oats, you get out four grain grist, or you put in one corn and you get out the uh, corn grain grist, which you could then ferment or feed. So really nice. If you're running a small scale farm and you don't want to have to get the uh, the starter mill or you've not got the capacity to have the starter mill, really nice little mod for making small amounts of feed. And the last one, Let's sell that. Is also by Ursin Arena, and I need to find where it is actually um, because I've not used this before. So this is the feed mixing tools, and there are two parts to this. Um, there is this shelf which is designed for stacking pallets on an IBCs and things, so you can then fill your mixer wagon from them more easily. And I think the other one is going to be a container. Yeah, and this is the molasses and water station. So this is another tank uh, that you can fill your feed mixer from for water or molasses. And uh, 
you can go in the back and you can buy it in bulk as well. So really good if you're doing larger scale feed mixing, that would be quite nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have stuck all of the links for these below. Um, I've probably missed some that you think are really essential for playing with Maze Plus. And if I have, you can comment below. Um, one of the suggestions I had was the Rain Pain mod, and I guess that falls into the more class of realism mods, which if you're playing with Maze Plus, you're likely to be playing realistically. So sort of fits, but I wanted to do it more focused around specific things for supporting Maze Plus. So that's all of it. If you are downloading and using these mods, please go in to the in-game mod hub and rate them five stars so that the creators know you like them. That helps them out a lot. Um, and yeah, if you found this video like useful, like it as well, because that helps me out. So any comments, questions, suggestions, stick them below and I will see you next time.